everyone. I have to go into town really quick. I need to get a package of spinach and I wanted to show you what it looks like outside today. It's kind of a cold, snowy day. All right, I'll meet you at the discount grocery store and then we'll see what I pick up. Now, I'm not getting much of anything, but let's just see if there's any good deals there. And let's pick up the spinach because we are going to be making some of my pork that I had left over. We're gonna make tortillas. All right, we're gonna do the dollar challenge. Let's see what we can get for $1. Now, I do need to get some spinach, so that will not be on the dollar challenge. Let's go everyone and let's see what we can get. So when I film, I like to film when there's nobody here. So I get here right away when it opens. That way I can film without filming people. All right, let's see what we can get. I really like this stuff. It works great with my homemade chicken soup. All right, so most of the canned goods I don't need to buy because I have a full pantry of canning. So we're gonna skip this section and then we're gonna go over to the other area. Now these were a really good deal for two for a dollar with the glass jars. But I already did a lot of canning, so I don't really need them. That's a great deal. Right, this has been such an amazing blessing. I've been getting these every week and one of these will last us for a couple days. All right, so I averaged everything with a dollar each except for the cream cheese and then we're gonna go home and we're gonna talk about it. So I got a whole chicken for $1 a pound. That was a good deal. I spent $25 and I got five bags of groceries. All right, let's go home and let's see what we can show you here in a video. So that chicken at 99 cents a pound, that's gonna give me a lot of meals. So other than the spinach, everything else was basically 99 cents. I did pay $1.29 for the cream cheese. Everyone, I just got back from the grocery store and I'm going to show you what I got and you can see now firsthand how I determine on buying things at the grocery store. Now I don't buy a whole lot of items but I do buy some things that I need. Usually that's fresh produce. Items that I get are foods that are really good sales or things that I need for videos and to make. I did get this whole chicken. I paid $6.48 for it but it was almost seven pounds and it was 99 cents a pound. Really, really, really good deal. So I'm actually going to put this in the refrigerator so it can thaw out. And then I'm going to be making a whole chicken and a video for all of you. Let me get this in the freezer and then I'll show you what else I got. All right, so the cream cheese was a huge deal. They want $7 for the Philadelphia cream cheese in the grocery store. I did pay $1.29, but I got two of these. So the whipped cream cheese are extremely expensive. I did get a four pack of the yogurt. Now, hubby probably won't eat what's on top of it, but I thought I could make this into cookies. It has the Twix on the top, 
but I'll make that into cookies and then he can have the yogurt part. He doesn't really care for the other. This did not have aspartame in it, so this is what hubby likes. So these were $1. I did get some croutons for a dollar and I got some Chex Mix, which is my favorite for one dollar. And that will last me quite a while. I did get the Ritz crisps for one dollar. What I came for was the spinach and I got that. That was $3.99. That was expensive, but that's how it is everywhere. And I needed the spinach. Mine didn't grow this year over year. Last year it did, but the greenhouse tore the cover of it and then the spinach died because of the cold. So unfortunately I don't have as great of a spinach year this year as I did last year. I did get these for one dollar. This is going to be when our son comes up. He loves this and for one dollar it was worth it to me because it has a lot of stuff in it. Now I did get the lettuce for 99 cents. As you could tell, it was not in good condition. I'm gonna go ahead right now, on camera, take the leaves off that aren't very nice, give them to my chickens, and then we will have this for a couple meals. So for 99 cents, I did get a fairly good deal because most of it is usable. I still got quite a bit of lettuce. I'm just gonna take that part off here. Normally when you have rust on your lettuce, it's only on the first couple leaves. They got me on this one, people. They got me on this one. <laughs> oh no! It's all throughout. I've never seen that before. Okay, well, for one dollar, I got that much. So that will at least make a couple sandwiches. Now you can have it with the rust. There's nothing wrong with that but my chickens will love it. So my chickens are gonna have so much fun. You're looking for bargains with produce. You, you know, you, you never know, especially with lettuce because most of the times a couple leaves off of it and it works fine. But chickens are gonna love this. People really love my dollar hauls on food. I think they're fascinated by it, especially people who don't have a discount grocery store but you can still find 99 cents even at a regular grocery store on certain items all you have to do is really look for them all right so i'm going to get the chicken out that was only 99 cents a pound and then we are going to put that in the crock pot recently that putting a whole chicken in the crock pot is a really nice way of cooking it i am going to rinse this chicken and then we're going to put it in the crock pot then i'm going to add some things to it all right, so what I'm gonna do is, I'm going to add some of this, and this is chicken concentrate. We're gonna put this in it. Then I have some carrots that were canned in 2015 that I found when I was redoing my pantry. We're gonna add the carrots to it, and of course they're gonna get so soft that you won't be able to probably eat them very well, but they'll give flavor to this chicken. Then I'm gonna add a little bit of some garlic to it. So we're gonna add this, and we're gonna make the chicken really tasty. So this is really strong concentrated. We're going to drain the carrots. Now these carrots were canned with onions with them. So I'm just gonna put that in. I'm gonna open one more. We're gonna put this one in and that way we have lots of carrots to help give this a little more of a flavor. All right, this is one reason why to always label your jars. This is pickled carrots. These are pickled carrots. If I would have put this in here, it would have been awful. Okay, you can see I didn't label my food back in 2015, 2016. Oh my word. All right, so we're not gonna put them in, but we'll put those in and that'll be good enough for today. Right, now this is finished. This could take quite a long time and I do, I do cook it on high. So we're gonna put this on high. Put 
the 99 cent chicken, I wanted to show you that this is the breast. And then I also have some wings and other meat on it, but I'm going to be making some chicken noodle soup with it. I'm not gonna go into big detail on that because I've done it so many times. I hope you enjoyed the video and I can't wait to see you guys again tomorrow. 99 cents a pound. See if you can find some food for that price. It's out there, you just gotta really look.